Hi everyone, John B. Man Saunders again. Um, I, I was just thinking it would be very interesting if we go down the road together and um, look at this hive that I filmed two weeks ago, or even three now. I haven't been able to put it up on YouTube, so it is a little bit out of sync with the time of year. So it's filmed two and a half weeks ago. So here we go, then we we'll go down together and you'll see what I found. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on in, Marley, let's go. Go and put your bee suit on. Go on, go and put your bee suit on. <laughs> Look at those bees going in there with all that pollen on. That's from the ivy. So we've got ivy going in, lots of it. How beautiful are they, aren't they? Yeah, then I've um, given them a little bit of smoke already at the old smoker. We see what's in this hive, and um, of course we've got to make sure it's all all good for the winter because winter is coming. That's half full there with some syrup. I'll um, probably move this whole box off. What's underneath? Sometimes when you've got the eek on there with the Appy Garden, they build their cone down off of this, off these frames. So you have to be careful that they haven't done that, which they haven't. So, well, okay. It's been two weeks now, so we take this off, just a very thin little strip there. There's no need to leave it on after they've had that. They've had a four week treatment now for the Abbey Guard, sorting out the mites and the viruses. So we won't need that eek on there anymore. I'll put that there for a minute, they can crawl up. Give them a little bit of smoke. It's quite, uh, it's quite a few bees in here, if you can see. Right, we'll take the uh, dummy board out. I haven't looked in this hive for a while, and I haven't filmed this hive for a while. This hive. Uh, was the proceeds of a nuke I made up earlier in the year. So it was uh, it was a five frame nuke in here and then it's grown into this really. We'll have a little look on the first one. It's about, uh, I'll say it's about half full with nectar, I'd say, or sugar syrup, what I've fed. But it's a bit a combination of both nectar and sugar syrup in there. You see? All seems all right there. Have a look on this side. Give me a little bit more room. That's uh, just over half full look with cat brood, uh, capped stores, capped honey, about just over half. It's about, yeah, about three pound in weight there, I'd say, by the feel of it. You want about 45 pounds, something like that in here, by, by the end of um, 
the season going into winter. There's more in here. It's That one's fully capped, look, practically. That's uh, just about a whole frame of honey there. It's about four and a half pound in that one, I'd say, four pound. Because the other side ain't fully capped. Have a look in this one. Oh, nearly. It's um, quite joined together there, look, with brace comb across the middle. You're just going, I'm going a bit slow because it is joined up a bit with the brace comb. This is full to the top. This is about five pound in weight, I'd say. Yep, that is a full one. You can feel by the weight. Look, that is five pounds of honey in there. Both sides full up. So, you know, we've got sort of 10 pound, I'd say, there. And, you know, let's have a look at this. Here's the queen actually on this one. It's, uh, probably move her backwards. She's quite big. Look, for queens, she's quite long. Seems all right. I was just looking at his back leg then, it looked like it was dragging a back leg, but it's not. I think it's okay, seems alright. We'll put that away now. So the queen is on facing me, so I'll drop it down with about a two inch gap. And then draw that frame towards me slowly. Uh, so that's sort of fairly safe in there now. So we can have a look through the rest of this because obviously the Queen's here, and we can look through that bit. It's quite gunked up, this is. There's a lot of um, propolis in here. And this is what I'm going to show you, look. See this propolis, it's like, almost like, almost like chewing gum. And it, I opened up another hive just now, actually it was one in my garden and it had all that in there. So they're getting that off a tree somewhere. A very thick propolis. Well, that's full of eggs. That's got, um, oh yeah, all cap look. That's a nice frame. So that, you know, seems all right so far, doesn't it, everyone? But, you know, you could still see a queen cell, you never know. There's a lot of bees in here, and I was having a little job getting a... I could smoke them, but... Now and them lugs. So let's have a look in this one together. Well... As they've hatched out of here, they've backfilled a bit with nectar. So look in here a minute. Yep, they have backfilled a little bit with nectar as they've match, uh, emerged. So, you know, the queen, you can see, is start to reduce the amount of laying she's doing, you can see that in there. And, um, and that's, you know, that's gonna be expected this time of year. Lots of stores and less bees, but you know, you still want a nice lot of bees going into the winter. But we don't want like 50,000. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at that, that's quite a nice frame. Um, it's got stores at the top, all their stores, 
and this is the brood that's emerged and they have actually popped some nectar in there as well. It's quite a lot of weight in that. Have a look for this one. I wonder what's on this shelf. Uh, Rain even. Yes, a couple of little bees have a look at me there. Get off my thumb. Go on. Right. There's loads of pollen in this frame. It's pretty well full with pollen. And this frame has got larvae and eggs in it. Uh, and get you a nice shot. Yeah, it's got larvae and eggs in there. All looks fine to me in there. Most of that there is pollen and all this here is egg, eggs and larvae. So, There's eggs and larvae in this one, but they are. She is reducing her laying pattern. It's going smaller, and they're filling it with nectar around the edges. So you know that's what's that's what's expected. And the larvae in there looks quite nice. You know, it's all nice. There's no, I can't see anything wrong with it. So, if there was, I'd show you, but there's not really. They all seem fine to me, that does. Then we come to the last frame, which is normally gunked up to this box. And uh, if it's too tight, I won't, I won't get it off. Oh no, it's okay. This is probably pollen in here. Yeah, it's full of pollen that is. If you can see that, it's pollen in there. The whole frame. And it's lovely, that's good resources there. Even the back of it's got pollen in it. So, that's a whole frame of pollen I would say. It's not even part done, it's full. Full of pollen. So now, get them bees off of there. I'm going to push this all back together now. Put that frame back, sit the back. Ooh. I'll push it all back at once, really gently. The queen's in there, but it's got the bee space, so it, you know, go nuts. It's all together anyway, so that'll be fine. We'll put this one back. And we'll put the dummy board back. There's not so many bees on here, so we'll slide that in okay without shaking it. That seems quite good to head towards the winter. Now I want to get these bees off of around here to put this box back, the top box, which is 
it really should be half brewed, but I think she just, they've just been putting straws in the top box. I'll get these bees off of here. That's a good bit of propolis, that on there. Look at that, all sticky lovely. That's it, I'll put the top box back now. Got them bees off of there, I'll just really carefully, I'll put it down like that and then slowly the ones that are there just get off way out of the way. We'll have a look in here, see what's going in on in the top box. It'll give us an idea because it's got it has got quite a bit of um, honey stores in the bottom box. It's not a lot of honey in this, so this really wants feeding because the top box isn't hardly got anything in it. As you can see, it's uh, pretty empty. So, I could just leave this with no top box during the winter and just for the, make sure the bottom box has got loads of stores in it, but I'm going to feed this heavily and see if I can get them to fill this top box up, because I really want quite a lot of stores going into the winter. So that would be my plan, feed this heavily. This eek. I'm using this as an eek. So I'll carry on feeding this one and when this is full of honey in this top box I take that off this and I use this eek and I fill this right up with insulation and then put the roof on it and that'll be good insulation for the winter that is coming. So once that's full, insulation on, lid on. And that'll be another stage towards getting prepared for winter. Look at the size of that drone. It's so fat, can hardly, can hardly fly it's so fat. See how big it is? Big eyes so they can see the queen when they're trying to mate. <laughs> I think, um, oh, there he is, sorry. Look how fat he is there, look. Can you see his lovely little face? I quite like drones. They're sort of um, misunderstood, I think, in a way, drones. Look, he's cleaning his back legs off. He's got a furry coat on. <laughs> Three guys, look at them. There you are. off you go then, drony. Go for a fly. Good. Well, that was not the best video in the world, the most interesting beekeeping video, but um, what I would like to explain is, is when I got home, I um, got one of the supers out of the store that was fully drawn out a super from where they had uh, produced honey in the season so it was very nice well drawn out super all the frames that they can add honey to and I went down there I went back and I swapped that super box over with a complete box of drawn out wax foundation so and I also added a very large feeder container so I reckon in three weeks to a month they'll fill that right up so Thanks for watching everyone, <laughs> please like and subscribe, see you all again.